Sometime after these things, God tested Abraham. He said to him, Abraham, here I am, Abraham replied. God said, take your son, your only son, whom you love, Isaac, and go to the land of Moriah. Offer him up there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains which I will indicate to you. Early in the morning, Abraham got up and saddled his donkey. He took two of his young servants with him, along with his son Isaac. When he had cut the wood for the burnt offering, he started out for the place God had spoken to him about. On the third day, Abraham caught sight of the place in the distance. So he said to his servants, you two stay here with the donkey while the boy and I go up there. We will worship and then return to you. Abraham took the wood for the burnt offering and put it on his son Isaac. Then he took the fire and the knife in his hand and the two of them walked on together. Isaac said to his father, Abraham, My father. What is it, my son? He replied. Here is the fire and the wood, Isaac said. But where is the lamb for the burnt offering? God will provide for himself the lamb for the burnt offering, my son, Abraham replied. The two of them continued on together. When they came to the place where God had told him about, Abraham built the altar there and arranged the wood on it. Next, he tied up his son Isaac and placed him on the altar on top of the wood. Then Abraham reached out his hand, took the knife, and prepared to slaughter his son. But the Lord's angel called to him from heaven, Abraham, Abraham, here I am, he answered. Do not harm the boy, the angel said. Do not do anything to him. For now I know that you fear God, because you did not withhold your son, your only son, from me. Abraham looked up and saw behind him a ram caught in the bushes by its horns. So he went over and got the ram and offered it up as a burnt offering instead of his son. And Abraham called the name of that place, The Lord Provides. It is said to this day, in the mountain of the Lord, provision will be made. The Lord's angel called to Abraham a second time from heaven and said, I solemnly swear by my own name, decrees the Lord, that because you have done this and have not withheld your son, your only son, I will indeed bless you and I will greatly multiply your descendants so that they will be as countless as the stars in the sky or the grains of sand on the seashore. Your descendants will take possession of the strongholds of their enemies. Because you have obeyed me, all the nations of the earth will pronounce blessings on one another using the name of your descendants. 